Hey, Aplaya, would you believe me if I told you that in pursuing my goals and dreams, I almost ended up joining a fake company? It was a crazy experience, and I want to share it with you right after this. This is the Just Beats. You're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. So let me take you back to my very first job. I had been there for about four years right after I graduated college. I handled all the marketing stuff, emails, and websites, and since I had been working there for so long, I pretty much had everything under control, so there wasn't really a lot of stress at my job, so it allowed me to kind of focus on my side projects, the other things I wanted to do, making YouTube videos, creating stuff online, just being a creative person. At the time, I would always tell people I wanted to be physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Yes, I stole it directly from the Boy Scouts. I was a Boy Scout, so I could do that. But basically, in that pursuit of being physically strong, I decided to sign up for Tough Mudder. And Tough Mudder was something I was super excited about. I told the people at my job that I was going to take that Friday off to go prepare for it, and they were totally fine with it. My friends and I competed in Tough Mudder, we succeeded, hurrah! we did it but on the drive home my car decided to just give up on itself the engine just gave out I had to call a tow truck to bring us from Connecticut all the way back to New York and when we got there I found out to replace the car engine it was gonna cost me four thousand dollars so stress level so I went into work on Monday ready to tell my co-workers the crazy things that happened to me and when I went to go log in none of the passwords seemed to be working I went to my boss's office to tell her I couldn't really log into anything and she just kind of just scrambled around started shuffling papers and was like like, yeah, uh, give me 10 minutes or so. I went back to my desk and then 10 minutes later, she called me and my other coworker who did marketing stuff too into the office to tell us that they were letting us go. They were hiring some company in China to handle all the marketing stuff. So the marketing people, gone. I remember walking out of work thinking to myself, well, this is just weird. I now have this $4,000 expense on my head. I now have no job, stress level even higher. When I got home, I sat down and really tried to find the silver lining in it all. A lot of times when people are working in a job for a long time, they get comfortable and they stop really chasing the goals that they want to go after. Instead, they just tell themselves, I'll work my Monday through Friday, I'll have my weekends, and that will be my life. But now that I no longer worked at this job, I wanted to change that. And for the next few weeks, I found myself applying for tons of jobs online and binge watching a lot of Breaking Bad. But it was one message that I got in particular that really piqued my interest only to backfire on me later. I got a message on MySpace. Yes, I know MySpace was still relevant at the time, but it was from a girl that I apparently knew from high school. I didn't really quite remember her, but she said that we went to high school together, so I just trusted her. In the message, she said that she saw my post about how I lost my job and I was looking for a new marketing opportunity, so she wanted me to interview for her company. I decided to look her company up online and I couldn't really find anything on them, but I was desperate. My car needed a new engine, I didn't have a job, and this could be the new opportunity I needed to help propel me to actually pursue the things I wanted to pursue. In my mind, the way I saw it was like this. If I take on this job and I learn new skills like design and video editing and Photoshop and all these different things, I just keep on working on that. Then I can always apply that back to the Josh Speaks and the other projects I was working on. So I saw it as a win-win. I told her, let's do the interview. It was a phone call interview at first, so I took that on easily. We talked on the phone. I did what everyone does on a phone interview, which is to try to sound a little bit more professional and all together and I have more work experience than I actually have and she said it was great that she wanted to meet in person for an in-person interview and I thought this is the opportunity I was looking for right as soon as I finish my old job and I get fired I have another thing standing at my door I tried to do a little bit more research on the company and still nothing would come up no website no article postings nothing about them I even searched up the girl and the only thing I could find was really her MySpace page so things were kind of fishy already ready, but I still trusted the process and hoped things would work out. I got a call the very next day from her boss who told me we were going to have the meeting in a Starbucks. Now this was kind of weird to me, but I had only worked one job before. So what did I really know? Maybe they wanted to meet in the Starbucks before I actually went to their office. So I just kind of went along with it. When the day for the meeting came, I remember she
showing up at Starbucks with my button down shirt and my tie, my little resume folder. I walk in and I see these two young people sitting at the table. The girl that I supposedly went to high school with but didn't remember and this young guy who looked like he could just be her brother. And here we are sitting in this loud Starbucks as they're doing their interview. And the whole while they're asking me all these different kinds of questions about do I feel motivated as an individual? Do I want to pursue my goals and dreams? And I thought, yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. This is the perfect opportunity for me. Meanwhile, in the back of my head, I'm thinking we're not really talking about the industry that they work in or the company itself. He's just asking me these kind of vague questions like, do I want to succeed? Do I want to be motivated and go after the things I want in life? Which are fun questions, but they're not really tied to anything job specific. So that got me really worried. And then he told me what the company does they sell supplements and not selling supplements to like GNC or supermarkets or any of these kind of places. Basically you find friends online. You reach out to people through Facebook or MySpace like this girl did for me and see if they want to come on board to sell supplements with you because you can sell supplements and make money. But if you have people that you bring on board, you make a piece of what they make. So, in turn, you just want to kind of build this little pyramid of people working under you selling supplements. And in my mind, I'm thinking this is a pyramid scheme. Holy smokes. I didn't sign up for this. I thought I was signing up for a marketing position, something that I can improve my skills and be more creative with. I didn't know I was going to be tricked into selling supplements and doing this whole multi-level marketing weird stuff. Nothing I wanted to be a part of. I cut him off midway and told him this is not really what I was looking for. I was thinking more marketing type with sales or with creative people so that I can work on those skills and apply them to my Josh Speaks and other things I was working on. This is not what I signed up for. And he was not having it. He kept saying things like, but didn't you say you're a go-getter? Didn't you say you're motivated and you want to succeed? Didn't you say you want to chase your dreams? And all these questions I did say yes to, but he was using a bit of manipulation there and trying to make it seem like the only way I can do those things was by selling his weird supplements. I kept trying to be polite and say, no, I'm not really interested. No, it's not what I'm looking for, but he kept pressing me. Then eventually he pulled out a paper which had a bunch of little boxes with names, emails, and phone numbers open so that you can fill them in. And he told me, okay, well, if you're not interested in joining, why don't you put down all the contacts that you know so that we can reach out to them to see if they would be interested in joining. And looking back on this, I think, really, why would I want to subject my friends to that kind of confusion and manipulation that you're doing to me? But I was scared, I was young, and I decided to take out my phone and write down every single person that I knew. I saw it as the only way to get them to leave me alone and after I did it they were like okay well nice talking to you have a good day and I just walked right out thinking man I just got blitzed <laughs> looking back at it I realized how important it is to define your goals because if you don't really have an idea of what you want to do and you're open to pretty much anything you're gonna run into people that are gonna try to sell you snake oil like they did to me and guess what there are probably lots of people that they did actually manipulate to work in their fake company eventually I did find a job that aligned perfectly with my goals but that's a story for another time. If you want to hear more fun stories and crazy things I've been through in my life, check out my playlist right over here where I talk about my life stories and the things I've gone through. On that note, guys, keep chasing your goals, and I'll catch you tomorrow. As always, love and peace.